this is University of Montevallo archivist Carrie Heatherly again. This video is meant to be a supplement to the basics to UM archival research that you may have already watched. Um, I just want to make you aware of a couple of changes from that last video that um, makes it more convenient for you as a researcher. Um, we have digitized some of the campus histories and they are available um, in several versions. Um, there are two ways, two simple ways to get to the content. The first is you can go to the archives tab, go to digital collections, and you will see digitized campus histories. This actually links to something you should be familiar with by now, and that is your research guide. So the other file path to this content is click on the research tab from the home page to research guides. Obviously, we will select the English tab. And of course, you are in English composition. And on this English 101, 102, guide. Um, you see the tab History of Montevallo Books and Archives video. This will take you back to the basics of UM Archival Research YouTube video, um, but it also takes you to quick links to some of the campus histories that we have on available for, for checkout in our library and in our archives and also at the circulation desk for um, like one hour checkout. However, if you go down below the video, you'll see digitized versions of books about Montevallo. Four of the books, we have copyright clearance to digitize and put those online. The format that they appear in, it should look familiar to you um, at this point. So for example, the Alabama College book, which is the long campus history written by Dr. Lucille Griffith is available in the same format that our yearbooks, our newspapers, and our course catalogs are in. Works the same, also has the search function. So I'm just going to pick out a random term, Calkins. should bring up information about Charles Calkins and also Calkins Hall. And as you can see, the, the blue hashes at the bottom. So you should know how that works. Again, we have this available for white columns and red bricks, which is the campus history featuring buildings. Years Rich and Fruitful, which covers the first 100 years of the school's existence and also the lives and times of Kingswood in Alabama, 1870 to 1980. This is the book about the King House and the King Plantation. Now, two books, uh, three books actually, um, we don't have available in PDF format. Um, one is the College Night, a Centennial Celebration because uh, it's brand new. That would be important to those people who are doing, build, are focusing on buildings on campus where theater's a, a big deal because College Night was held in some of these locations. So, for example, the cafeteria and main hall, uh, the stage in Reynolds Auditorium, and of course Palmer, um, and then the one year in the Student Activity Center while Palmer was being renovated. So, that's why that book is here. The other Montevallo images of Mary, this is the pictorial history talked about in the other uh, video. And then Montevallo, the first 100 years by Eloise Baroni. We have copies of it. The Historical Society also has a PDF version, and I'm going to see if I can get permission to, to host that here for you all. But that mainly focuses on town in the very earliest days of the school's history. So yeah, I just wanted to make you aware that these are available 
and if you need quick access to them, I highly suggest bookmarking the URL at the top. You can also copy and paste that URL into an email. It's a unique URL, so it will actually take you to the to the back to the page that you stopped on. Um, another way that you can save this for publication is there are multiple formats here. I suggest if you would like to download the PDF, you can download the PDF like any other file to your to your desktop. That way you don't need um, internet or Wi-Fi access to, to use it. So good luck.